All right, we're ready to go over the race entries tab, kind of show you the neat little tools that provides there for kind of sorting your, your races and sorting the entries in those races and, and maybe everything from where the location is to how many you have in each class. So I am going to jump into the Black Mountain database from just recently and maybe look back to... Hopefully they've got their state race in here. I know they ran it some time back. Um, there we go, state qualifier weekend. So you jump back into this race here. I know I, I did this because I know it has a decent amount of entries and uh, you will see you've got a lot of options there for sorting. Um, obviously, if you want to search just for your cruiser riders, the type of class would be cruiser and there's all of the cruiser riders so it then omitted uh, class riders or specials or opens or anything else um, your, your next option is special classes obviously they did a pro-am that day looks like uh, this would be a good one they've, they've got different countries in there so we can even take a look at, at what they've got going on there um, don't know if they did opens but uh, it looks like they've got class um, you can grab any one of these bars and then uh, like if you would like to know what states you've got there um, the Arizona state race back in February looks like they had a, a few different states there they had some some guys from Canada um, a couple California guys Colorado guy you can see a New Mexico clan came up you guys from Nevada. Looks like Connor came down for the pro am. Um, they even had a Texas rider there. So as you look at that, you, you can definitely do some power sorting. Um, but again, if if a rider is saying he's from Nevada and you want to find him real quick, really easy to find him. Um, if you're searching for a certain class. Um, a, a really common one is you, you get into some of those cruiser classes the the older women cruiser they want to know if they have a class so you, you can uh, you know kind of start trying to look around um, you've got you've got 31 35 women cruisers a common class and they always ask if they have someone to race um, maybe even the 36 to 40 and you can see what you've got um, be very cautious about whether you tell the people whether you have racers there or not you, you could be doing yourself more harm generally uh, what we tell tracks and like to tell tracks is you know do that at your own discretion but uh, you know you never want to let people know who's racing or, or what kind of classes are being built um, you know yeah, obviously there, there's some you want to help out like the older women cruiser they they basically just trying to figure out where they're going to end up for the day but you know you never want to uh, bank someone's registration on the fact of what your answer is on, on what class is available that day so uh, a general uh, rule of thumb for, for most track operators is they just tell them look I, I can't I can't hit that button I can't get into the system to, to write motos or, or, or build classes because I'm doing registration and you know, I simply can't see that until it's basically too late. So, you know, get them registered. That's that's the real key. The, the, those problems tend to go away as you register more people. So, um, you, you've got an option here, race one, race two, and that is because in their event setup, they've got their pre-race and their state race, uh, Friday night and Saturday night. So, actually, it looks like they ran Saturday morning. So, Friday night and Saturday morning, they they had their their races and. Uh, they were signing people up for both events under, or both races under the one event. Um, you can search by any one of these. Obviously, country is a cool one here because they, they had a few different countries there. Um, and then in that country, you can even sort the state. And oh, I'm sorry, I dragged the wrong one. Let me put that back. So as you can see, boom, you get into U.S. Now we've sorted by states so now in the u.s you see what states you have in the netherlands uh well canada is a better example netherlands doesn't have a state but canada has a province of bc so you can see there was only bc riders there um 
those are always good to tell when you're kind of sorting. And again, a lot of these tools may be used after after the race to kind of see what you had that day. Um, if you take that state option away from sorting, you then, uh, when you open up the USA, you've just got the list of the USA riders. If you add uh, the city to that, now you've got all the cities in the USA. If you want to add state before the city, well, now you've got that. Then you jump in there, and now you've got the cities in California that those riders came from. So it becomes a very cool tool. You can see the, the three or four. I'm going to bet this is a um, Las Cruces, New Mexico clan. And Well, I was wrong. It's an Albuquerque, an Albuquerque clan headed over from New Mexico. But those guys were uh, came down for the state race, and you can see which uh, cities riders are registered from. Looks like a Southern California group of riders came over. Um, and that's pretty much the race entries tab. Uh, again, you can use this at any time during the day. It's a lot faster than, you know, than hitting the motor board and, and trying to find a rider or even trying to pull up their registration because you can very quickly uh, probably find find the Bryans that were racing that day. And uh, it, it's just a very fast way to sort all the entries. In the next video, we'll be going over the motor board, riding motos, getting your stuff out for the day. So. Make sure if, you, if you're going through all of these in order to, to get yourself straightened for your first race, that is next, and uh, we'll be going over that soon.